Uh, you trying to play a damn? You trying to steal our audience, bitch? Hold on, where's me at? This bitch trying to steal our audience. Hey guys, Lyrex here, and today I got episode 2 of Meet the Naxters. Um, part 1 was, it was fun. Um, if I remember correctly, um, we moved into the new apartment. We had a party, I think, and somebody was having sex in our bathroom. Somebody was having, most definitely having sex in the bathroom. That's the one thing I remember from last time. Somebody was having sex in the bathroom. And we had a party. That's basically what happened. Um, Brad, Brad Naxter, the guy, he wanted to be a musician. I think we got him a couple of skill points playing the guitar. Um, I think we're going to further explore that in this episode. Um, the woman, I forgot her name already. Um, I haven't played this like over a week in real life, so. Um, I've been, I've been working on some other shit for the channel, but, um, this, the woman, I think her name is, uh, fuck, I forgot her name, but hopefully I remember, but she wanted to be an act actress, not an actor, actress, um, hope she don't got a penis on other, under those jeans, but she wanted to be an actress. We haven't did anything for that bef besides get her a, um, an agent and all that stuff so let's i think we're gonna focus on her a little bit more in this episode but um let's see what's gonna happen okay in the comments below tell me what what you guys like about the first series in the first episode of this series um anything that you guys want to see in more episodes so if so just um let me know okay um we was over here oh no that's my other game over here yeah oh that's what happened i forgot about that okay so uh, let me show you guys i forgot i was gonna start the episode off like that but i forgot i did that because i did i didn't do that now i did that after i started me after I stop taping the first episode I need to start taping these episodes in like large qualities that way I can remember stuff okay so if you guys remember from last episode um, we didn't have this we had this apartment but we didn't have this style of apartment um, I reorganized the apartment um, I'm not planning on using like money cheats and stuff like that i just did it as this one time so it can be better like series wise because how i look at it we're going to be in this apartment for a very long time so at least like episode five or six at least like bare minimum so i wanted to make it feel like home um, obviously since there isn't furniture shops in the Sims, um, I, technically I couldn't make furniture shops, but, um, again, it'll be a very long time. So I just start, I just thought, why not just do this? So we have the little TV area over here. Um, nice little, like, um, Brooklyn theme going on. I hope this is Brooklyn theme. I hope it's not offensive in any way. I just thought, like... To make like a Brooklyn, Manhattan type apartment. Um, very, cause it's like, look, look, this, like, this remind me, the outside remind me of like New York style apartments. And it's hella snow outside, so I was like, fuck it, why not? So, um, got the little TV area here, got the little artist pad. Um, don't know why I added that. I thought just in case one of their, um, one of my plans for them might flop, I can get one of them into the artistic career slash skill set instead of uh, the musician for Brad or um, the artist, I mean, actress career for the other one. So, um, 
Got a little spider web over here. This is like a broke down apartment. Uh, bad part of Brooklyn, whatever. But we still have a nice ass fridge and a microwave. So, and a screen TV. So, that's nice. Um, got a little dining room table. The dining. <laughs> I don't know what the fuck that was. Dining room table. English, please. Um, radio. Got a little light lamp over here. Um, little things. I don't know what to call this. Like columns. Only reason I added this is like to give it like a Manhattan feel. I'm like I will admit I never been to Manhattan. I just added this because of friends. So I thought it looked hella weird, but like I hope it fit in. But yeah, get the little shoes over here, and um, this this temperature thing. I always use this. This is a CC by the way, obviously. But I always use this temperature thing as like. A baton alarm system rather than the actual like thermostat feature of it it's weird like I still I still use it obviously because if not you're just going to get negative and positive moodlets or whatever based on whatever temperature it is outside um, but like RP wise I use it as like a alarm system uh, we got a tiny 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 bathroom I don't know what the fuck that is, actually. Um, I don't know what the fuck the shower is doing over here. That's kind of weird, actually. I'm going to delete that. Uh, then we get the bedroom. Nothing too complicated. And we've got little spaces, like, right here. And right here. This is the little ghost thing. I didn't know what this was at first. I tried deleting it. I looked it up online, then they told me I couldn't delete it, so I was like, fuck. So I just put this wall around it. Hopefully when the ghost comes, it won't escape this little tiny area. Um, we got Brad's guitar, some shoes, bookcases. Uh, I couldn't find any decoration to put on this little thing over here besides this picture. It's pink. I'm not even going to read it. You, you guys know how to read it, so. Yeah, so I thought it looked the cool right there. And this is where you're supposed to put like your keys, your phone, and stuff like that before you go out. But I couldn't find any. Like all the CC that I have couldn't fit on here. Like it, like there's no slots left on here. Let me delete this fucking shower that's in the. And whatever you call this. It's weird. It's on here like five times. Like. Okay, that should be everything. So we got a little makeup kit over here. Um, I think I'm gonna add something else actually. Okay. No, that that was an epic fail. Fuck it, I just have it like this. Okay. As you can see, I'm not much of a builder. Um, yeah. So anyway, a little makeup area for her toothpaste, toothbrush, sink. Um, did I have a do I have a sink in my kitchen? I always forget that. Okay, yeah, I do. Okay, so, um, yeah, let's get started. So, we have... First off, what is her name? Julia, that's what it is, Julia. Okay, I should know that. I made all of these names. I didn't, like, I didn't, like, click the little, um, dice thing that make random names or whatever. Like, I actually thought of their names off of Google. It was like, hey, I'm gonna make... They fit the names. Okay, anyway, um, Brad... Why not? Do they have any um, wants in it? Okay. So, how about you practice your guitar? And I want to build some relationships between Julia and some people before we do the um, actor stuff. So, why not join the protest? Make sure you're doing what you're supposed to be doing. Cause fun, uh, fun fact, offline when I was building this, um, I deleted this entire area because Brad wouldn't go outside. Like he just wouldn't go outside. Then until I found out that it's because I had accidentally locked the door on the first night out, to, like to pretend to be like realistic, or whatever. So I'm not doing that anymore. But what about you? Why? Why are you in the protest? Give donation. We broke this fuck. Okay, let, let's do it anyway. You want some cash, girl? Do some McDonald's or something? Oh, 
Okay, okay, thank you. Um, I, I don't know why I said thank you. I'd give it a fucking donation. I don't know why I'm saying thank you for it. Who, who's the enemies? Like, what we protesting for? Lady, hold on. You trying to play a damn... You trying to steal our audience? Bitch. Hold on, where's Mean at? This bitch trying to steal our audience. Go talk to that bitch. Hold on, hold on. Go, 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 go. She is trying, trying to steal our damn audience. Like, you see me protesting over here, and you trying to, like, what? And you trying to get money too? I don't even know what our car causes, but like, what if you like protesting for like cancer or something? And you just like, first off, like, why are you trying to steal our damn audience? Second off, why she don't have a coat? Like, thank you. I came over here to fight, and she trying to fucking become friends and shit, like, bitch! Politics, yeah, politics, that get people real upset. How many fucking violins did this bitch have? She just had a gray violin when we first came over here, now she got a fucking velvet violin, bitch! No, no, it's... A fucking clown. A clown. I was just gonna say, don't do it because I know what your athletic outfit looks like because I fucking made it. And instead, she sits on putting it on. And now she's gonna get sick because it's like, how many degrees outside? Doesn't tell me. Okay, what the fuck is this for then? Okay. Um, I would assume it's like at least like negative five degrees outside and this bitch is trying to put on no damn clothes like you're not the ath athletic one in the damn family bitch like you don't need to have that stop wait what was that what was that other outfit did i put this on i think i did okay never mind i'm sure like what the hell is that did they like replace one of my outfits anyway let's keep fighting with what's her name alice Alice, ooh, I hate Alice. Uh, Alice is a uh, just a very bad person. Alice, you you need you need to be reported to HR, okay? I don't know who you work for, but you need to be reported. Let's fight. There we go. Who who's winning? Who's winning? Who's winning? Lex, we winning. I know for a fact Julia better. Oh uh, no, Alice won. Okay. Alice won. Okay, hold on. We're gonna do this. Beat her up. There we go. Beat her eyes, bro. Get a little thumbnail as well. <laughs> that's funny. Oh my god, that's fucking hilarious. The little festival um tune came on at the same time we was beating Alice's ass. See, I'm I'm a bittersweet person. Like as you just saw, I just decided to cheat and beat her up using a mod instead of using in game interactions because we got beat up. So yeah. Look at her face. Look at her face. Hold up. Oh, no, no, no. No, no, sis. That's, no, that makeup isn't doing too well for you, sis. It's, it's a little too dark. I can't really see your eyes. Okay. It's just, uh, no, no, no. Just no, no. I'm not feeling it. I'm not feeling it, sis. Okay. Let's, um... Let's talk with you. You look friendly. Playing about the code because it's cold as hell. Um, ask about what you do for a living. That's that's pretty fun. Ah, uh, bitch. You just finna leave and made a conversation? This is why I be fighting codes in the middle of the fucking park. Because y'all be trying to act all, all funny and shit. Like, bro, no, no. 
with that pink ass lipstick on looking like you from Hannah Montana era, bitch. Fuck out of here. Let's get somebody else. Let's find another friend. It's a lot of people here, so we can find somebody, right? You, you look cool. Brant. Is that how you say his name? Brant? It's most definitely not Brant, because it has no E. And, like, is he like a wannabe Brad? Like, and he just, his mother just fucked up his name? Like, is that what happened? I hope that's what happened, because his name doesn't make any sense to me. No offense if that's your name in real life, so don't don't come for me in the comments. Uh, so you don't like me? What the fuck is wrong with people? Ask about your day. How was your day, Jimmy? That that's your new name. Your new name is Jimmy, okay? Okay, Jimmy, we see you, we see you. Um, what do, what type of stuff you like? They're talking about military tanks. I don't know how that fit into the conversation, but okay. Jimmy Hecklin shows signs of innocence, personality, archetype. Okay. Innocent Sims positivity and happiness has a great power to uplift others, but they often can appear childish. And they, okay, okay, okay. Where is she going? No, bitch. Like. Hold on, let me go into game settings, cause they, they think they grown, like, you don't have a mind of your own, like, fuck out of here. Like, I, I'm your maker, I'm your controller, bitch. So, get back over here, and have a sent conversation with a chimney in the middle of the damn street, okay? Um, uh, make a, make a duck about, <laughs> make a duck about jokes, I'll, that, mmm. Make a joke about ducks. I was just <laughs> Oh my gosh, I'm slow. I was just saying, oh, you should make a duck about jokes. But, uh, yeah, I'm Tom's just slow. What the fuck? He just restarted. Okay. I'm not, I'm not liking this. I'm not feeling this. Let's see what Brad is. Oh, shit. Let's see what's Brad doing. We're not getting a lot done in this episode, as you can see, clearly. Where's your skills? It's over here. Level, level two. Okay. Do you still have that thing in your inventory? Okay. How much do you have to have to... Stop. Because if so, we might go to like a nightclub. I might put a nightclub in game. And, um... What is with you hoes and making fucking snow angels? What are you, ten? Get back inside. Like, did he really just think he was gonna just go outside and make a damn snow angel? Okay. Um, can we play for tips? No. Okay. Um, put that back in the inventory. We finna go out. Yeah, we finna go out. So, how about you stop where you're going? Um,. Do couples usually go out to nightclubs together? Because never, I never really noticed that. I'm I'm single as fuck, so I wouldn't know. Um, I'm 19, never been to a nightclub, never had friends, so I don't really know these things. So if you end up watching my video, um, as boring as I am, let me know in the comments. Like, do couples usually go to nightclubs together, or is it just like, oh, the female? And her friends, her bad bitches, go to a nightclub. And the guy and his buddies go to the nightclub separately. Or go to a bar or do whatever guys do. Like, I'm not a, I'm not a normal guy, so I wouldn't know. So, um, but for now, they're going to go to a nightclub together. Um, what's this? Oh, what's that? What's the outfit? Here it is. Um, Okay. And you, 
you over here making a damn stone intro. Oh my god. Okay. I swear for God, if you walk out that damn dirt to make a fucking snow angel, I swear to God, bruh, we finna have beef. Again, I don't know what guys wear in the nightclub, so I hope this is, um, okay. Um, yeah. I'm gonna put a little nightclub in and do the little doo-doo. This episode changed dramatically. I was finna have them do their different skill stuff, but... That got boring really fast, so I'm going to go out clubbing instead. Okay, I keep on forgetting this isn't my personal save game. Um, I would put all of my like all of my games into one game, but like if I like for right now, if I was playing this family, my personal game will still be going on, which is pretty bad because right now they have a baby. Like she's pregnant, so there's a large possibility that I'm gonna miss the her being in labor, labor, and my Black Widow game that'll keep on going, and she might fuck up something that not supposed to happen in the challenge. So that's why I have separate games for everything. But it's really hard because like I have to like replace every single lot. So is this it? No, this is. Let me think. Hold on, let me put these two lots down first. I gotta... Damn, she's still fucked up. Okay, okay. Um, do we already have BB move objects on? I think we do, but just to make sure. Okay. I don't know if you guys can hear my keyboard right now. But, um... Yeah, it's pretty loud. gonna put the night clip in I, I already know it fits because again I have it in my personal save game um, lots custom content nightclub I don't use the gallery because um I got a let's say a um cough cough version of the game so i don't use the gallery because of my offline player um you know no biggie i'm not bragging or whatever um <laughs> um let's here it is hold up oh i had it this side. i'm sure like uh this didn't look like the one from earlier because at first i thought it was like this I'm like, uh, what the fuck? Because I thought this was the front door, but I had it like this. And let's make it morning time for a little bit so I can copy and paste a couple of things. Um, you. Okay, um. Everything inside should be okay, right? Yeah. Okay. Let's, um... Yeah. Hopefully they don't start having sex. Um, uh, fun story. Um, I... Um, yeah, I'm not even gonna say it. <laughs> Let's just say a lot of people was having sex in my personal game last night. And, like, for a lifetime. And let's just say both bathrooms were, was filled with multiple urges. Um, it was most definitely was not fun because I didn't plan any of it at all. Uh, it just all happened at like one time. So um, that was fun. Oh, fuck. I forgot something. Okay. Uh, do I need anything else? 
I don't think I did. Let's do hottest spot in town. Yeah. And okay. That's it. <gasps> I would add a little sex trait in there too, but again, that was not fun last time, so yeah. Dancer, Nibra, uh, Yarb? Oh, Barb. Oh. Uh, Barb. <laughs> Chima Rabu. Uh. You gotta pee? Oh, um, let's get you to a bathroom, sis. I didn't know you had to go pee. When we left home, everybody was okay. Wait, a pregnancy test. Oh, yeah, they did have sex. Oh, my God. Um, you better not be pregnant. If not, we're giving it away. It's way too early in this series for you two to have a child. That's the bouncer. Um, it's like a mod where, like, um... A bouncer, bouncer will come if anyone drinks too much or fights, we get kicked out. Kind of like how you get kicked out of a friend's house when you take a shower or make any type of food. It's kind of like that, but yeah. I never seen it work before, but I thought it would be fun to add because I have it. Like I didn't add it individually. It came with like this mod with which adds like real life names to the drinks. So we got Sex in the City and um like all that type of shit on here. So you see like real life names. Like if I would come over here and let me see, let's get Brad a drink. Let's get Brad a drink. And he's asleep. Okay. Oof. Everybody was perfectly fine when we left the house. As soon as you come over here, everyone has a cow and a fucking hash. Like you're sleepy. You hungry. You have to use the bathroom. You gotta blow piss. Like uh, your hygiene is going down. Like, what the fuck? We just came over here. It's like 9 o'clock. Who the fuck? Is, was you just watching me? Oh, that's a bouncer. He probably came over here to give me no, the uh, notification. I'm sure, like... Damn, you can run fast. You run fast as hell. Have a seat, bro. Like, you welcome here. You, you pay your fucking fee like everybody else. Did he know how to dance, actually? No, he- Oh, yes, he did. A little bit. A tiny bit. Barely. Go take a shot. And... My my voice is, like, really bright. I'm like a grown man. Well, I am a grown man, but I sound like... I am act like a little kid. But I sound like an actual grown man that acts like a grown man. My deep-ass voice. Hey. I'm Paul. I'm here to fix your Wi-Fi. Is she pregnant in the club? Or she just, oh, uh, yeah, she's not pregnant, never mind. Not feeling the dance, but okay. Um, can can any of you guys actually dance? This isn't a music video, okay? Like actually dance. Oh, okay, okay. Yes, queen. Yes, fuck it up, fuck it up. Boobs shaking and all. Okay. Can we dance with you? Like, can can we be your friend? Like, shit. Cause um, so Miss Milan over here ain't doing shit. What you doing? You s okay? Fine, we just finna go home. We just finna end the episode. Go home. I tried to get you guys some friends. You didn't want to listen to me, so just go home. Actually, we need some food. Matter of fact, so let's still not still some. Food. Let's actually buy some food, but um. Just take it with us. Like, you're not supposed to take the food outside of the club. Supposedly. Supposedly. So now you want to dance. Now you want to dance. Now you want to fucking dance. Go to bed. Okay. Well, um, that's going to be it of this episode. Nothing happened the way I wanted it to happen. Nothing at all. 
I tried to get her into acting, and she already had an audition. The audition was for, well, now it's Tuesday, so today at noon. And comment below what you think will happen during, during her audition. Will she fail? Will she bust her ass? Will she um, have sex with the producers to get the audition? Will she get it fair and square? Like, what do you think will happen? And also with Ace, not Ace. Um, I don't know why I said that. I'll, I'll just go down playing GTA RP. Not Ace. Uh, what's his name? Brad. How do you think Brad will do? How do you think Brad will do with this guitar stuff? Um, do you think he'll be able to get skilled enough to play for tips? To play with the little um, set thingy? I don't know, know what to call it. Um, the little on set thing. I'm trying to get them famous, to be honest with you guys. So, again, leave a comment down what you think will happen next episode. Sorry, very, very sorry that the episode did not go as planned. Like, again, they didn't even get to have a good time at the club. So, they just having it rough. So, uh, I'm not a good caretaker for them, <laughs> for the Naxxer family. Not a good caretaker, but um, at least they're a cute couple. So, um, yeah, comment what you think will happen next. Leave a like if you want more content like this and share the videos with your friends. Lurex, and I will see you guys next time. Peace.